Hey everyone, Austin here again with another Let's Play video. Today it's going to be the Pinball Arcade for the Xbox One, uh, specifically Doctor Who by Ballian Williams. Uh, this is a really fun machine, came out in 1992, uh, and it's one I've had the pleasure of playing the real version of uh, before, quite a bit actually. One of my friends had loaned me the machine, and it's uh, actually been in my apartment for several years now. And uh, so I've had a lot of time with this machine in general, I know the rules very well, and I know the shot flow and things like that. So this should be a pretty fun Let's Play to do, uh, show off Doctor Who in digital form. Um, one noteworthy feature of Doctor Who is like Bram Stoker's Dracula, it used these things called lightning flippers. You know, if you look at the uh, the yellow flippers at the bottom of the playfield closely, you notice that they have these lightning bolts on them, and uh, that's why they call them lightning flippers. They're actually a tiny bit smaller or shorter than standard size flippers. And so on the real machine, you know, you've got to adjust your shots accordingly, and they have a tendency of flipping faster so these lightning flipper based games have a tendency of being very quick like again Bram Stoker's Dracula uh, I believe Fishtails was another and then Doctor Who so kind of a neat uh, history lesson there so what we're gonna do is actually jump into the game just by hitting the start button and I'm gonna go ahead and play a game here and sort of explain things as I go uh, the first thing of note is that you have seven different doctors you can choose uh, each doctor has different properties so doctor one for instance allows you to get into video mode easier. Uh, Doctor 6 uh, extends your playfield multiplier uh, so it lasts longer. Doctor 7 makes it easier to get into uh, multi-ball, so on and so forth. So what I always do here at the start is start off with Doctor 6. Let's go ahead and plunge. And the plunge in this game feeds the right flipper immediately. So if you've never played this game, game before, you do have to watch out for that. Um, you've got uh, two big ramps in the game. You got the right ramp, and then you've got the uh, huge upper ramp. Uh, to hit the huge upper ramp, you need to hit this H shot on the far left. If you hit the H shot without hitting the W, the right ramp first, it'll actually feed that flipper, the upper left flipper, again. Now, if you uh, get the ball as a cradle, or if you cradle the ball right here and you time your shot, you can actually backhand the W and then you can go for the, uh, the H, and then you can try to go for the O up top. The O is a very important uh, ramp because it builds towards sonic booms, and sonic booms are some of the, the biggest scoring things in the game that you can, you can get. Uh, one tournament strategy on the real machine is to just play sonic booms all day long, and that's also just a, a general high scoring strategy as well. Um, it's also a really good strategy on the Pinball Arcade version. You can absolutely try to play Sonic Booms all day long um, if you want to try to get your name up on the leaderboard. And if you want to get your name on the leaderboard, that's probably what I would recommend doing. I wouldn't recommend doing anything else. I'd recommend just playing Sonic Booms. Uh, so the software settings here are actually set relatively easy. That's just the default settings for the Pinball Arcade version. Um, and uh, what's kind of cool about this doctor setup is on this setting, after um, after each ball, it actually locks in the previous doctor that you were playing as. So now on this ball, I'll not just have Doctor 7, which is uh, get into multi-ball easier. And speaking of which, I should try to lock my next ball just like that, just so we can start progressing towards multi-ball. But Doctor 6 is locked in now for the rest of the game. And uh, Doctor 6 is going to keep our multipliers going longer, which is great. You build your playfield multiplier by hitting the uh, the O shot, the uh, the upper big ramp. And uh, I do want to collect my first extra ball, uh, which is done by spelling W H and then O. So there we go. And I just collected the extra ball. The extra ball actually appears on your uh, return lanes. Uh, you, there are four lanes that say extra ball. And unfortunately, I just lost my extra ball. Um, and you can cycle the extra ball through, kind of like in something like Pinbot. And because I drained out, it went ahead and locked in Doctor Number Seven, and so Doctor Number Seven's properties are in effect as well. I can get into multi-ball easier. Uh, I just choose uh, chose Doctor Number One, and Doctor Number One allows me to get into video mode easier. And so what we'll do is we'll we'll try to show off some video mode here in just a few moments. Let's go ahead and hit that wall up top. That actually <sighs> raises the mini playfield to allow us to play some multi-ball. Now, this is actually a really terrible game so far. I've just gotten some really, really bad drains, unfortunately. And uh, if I continue at this, what I might do is just play a second game back to back. But to start multi-ball, you want to go ahead and just hit one of those gates. Uh, the value of the multi-ball jackpot is displayed on the dot matrix in the top left. And the, the center shot is always the most valuable. 
And so what we want to do is try to go for the center shot, if it allows us to. But here, here we are in uh, video mode. So the idea in video mode is get, to get to the end, you have to jump over obstacles. Um, one flipper does a baby hop, and uh, both flippers together does a big hop. And I actually messed that up, unfortunately. But I'm sure we'll get back into video mode, no problem. So here we are in multi-ball, and what you want to do here is just shoot all three windows. And once you do that, you'll score the jackpot. And let's see if we can do that. There's one. There's two. And I'm just completely missing. One thing you can do is when you're in multi-ball, you can still get your multipliers up by shooting that big ramp. And there we go, there's our jackpot. So that actually ended up working out fairly well is we built up our multiplier a little bit and then we uh you know we got the jackpot after our multiplier had gone up so we ended up getting quite a few points for that now after you collect a few jackpots you go into what's called davros mode and you try to get the davros jackpot the uh the wall will pop back up you have to hit it a bunch of times so maybe i can demonstrate that there we go and now the wall is up. We have to hit the wall if you want to get into the next phase of the multi-ball. And unfortunately, I messed up. We drained out. There's nothing I can really do about that. So I guess my next goal right now is to try to get some more WHOs. We need three more WHO combos to light our next extra ball. And we're going to want that if we're going to keep our game going. It looks like video mode is lit again as well, so I could also try to do that. But having the playfield multiplier up is great. You'll notice that each of these shots for WHO is 12 million. That's actually a good little chunk of points for, for one single shot. Let's go ahead and just bounce pass here. Bounce passing for people that don't know is... Oh, Sonic Boom's activated too. I didn't realize that. Uh, bounce passing is just not flipping and letting the ball bounce across to the other side. So let's go ahead and just backhand here. Oops, failed the backhand, but that was a nice li little live catch. You can live catch on the pinball arcade engine. So now we can't lock balls again yet. We have to actually hit the uh, center target between the two lock shots. It's a little white, uh, little target with a white insert down below it. But here's video mode again, so let's not mess this up. So one flipper, one flipper, double flipper, double flipper, double, double. And then if you jump at the end, you'll get some bonus points for jumping into the uh, the telephone booth. Now my video mode is actually still lit. You can actually qualify multiple video modes back to back. All right, extra balls lit. And let's see if we can collect that. So what I want to do... Did Sonic Boom start again, or were they still going? I have no idea. Let's try to hit that right ramp. Get that extra ball. Good, we got the extra ball again. Let's try to go for those upper ramps. Or not. Actually, let's go for video mode again. Let's see if the ball will bounce in there, and it doesn't. Sometimes the ball will bounce out from the pop-uppers. So, very dangerous. So something else I haven't explained is that there's this thing called the transmat target. Uh, it's under, right underneath the uh, the huge ramp, and uh, it's this flashing light you can see there. There's actually a stand-up target that you can hit. Um, you can actually permanently lock in doctors by hitting that too when um, when it's ready. And to charge it up to be ready, you have to hit the pop bumpers a certain amount of times. Now, hitting the pop bumpers also advances your end of ball bonus multiplier as well, which is cool. So, the pop bumpers do serve a purpose. And there we go. And this is quickly turning into a better, a better game. And when you collect all seven doctors, uh, one way to collect a doctor is by playing video mode and completing it. Once you collect all seven, you get a nice little bonus there. Let me hit some upper ramps before I play that video mode again, just so I can multiply... And I'm not going to be able to multiply my playfield because it went into the, uh, the video mode spot, but that's okay. There are some fun little uh, animations I want, I want to show off after uh, completing video mode, or from completing video mode. Extra ball in there as well. I don't know if the extra balls stack in this. We're going to find out. It's the obstacles that I hate. Alright, WHO again, so that's W, 
There's the H. There's the O. W. And uh, no lock. I haven't hit that target yet. I should probably go for the uh, the uh, the white the white insert up top. Try to get those locks lit again, just so we can maybe try to progress towards another multi ball. And I'm doing really bad with. Uh, there we go. Finally hit the target. Have to be careful not to uh, tilt out though. Let's see if we can get another ball lock. There we go. And we'll see if we can get that second ball lock. I like getting my locks going, uh, just because that wall rises up, and, uh, you know, when I brick shots, the ball will ha have a tendency of, uh, bouncing into that wall. Just like that. I actually wasn't going for that, I was going for my multi-ball shot. So, W, and let's go for, not multi-ball. Man, my terminology is just all over the place. My brain can't grab the correct term as I'm trying to speak. I was going for video mode. And there we go. <laughs> yeah, it's always fun watching those. All right, so let's try to go for more Sonic Booms or WHOs. Again, if you want to go for the Sonic Boom specifically, you want to hit the H before you hit the W. If you hit the W first, the ball will always loop all the way back around. So skip the W, go for the H, and as you can see, my ball's rejecting uh, a lot of the times. Or I'm just completely missing, and it's, uh, you know, it's going into the, uh, the wall up top, which is progressing towards our multi-ball. So if I wanted to, I could just go ahead and try to start multi-ball. So hit the wall like that. And try to hit one of the doors, preferably the middle one. So let's go ahead and see if we can trap up. Just like so. There we go. Alright, so it's gonna throw us right back into Davros mode. So we still wanna go ahead and hit that wall. Now you know, when you're playing, when you're trying to qualify multi-ball in general, you can just hit any any one of those blocks, and it'll just spot you a, a light. Um, but in Davros mode, you actually have to hit the appropriate uh, target. Now, since we didn't actually get a jackpot, it's going to allow us to try to relock our balls to get right back into that multi-ball. And again, sometimes you can actually backhand that uh, first lock just like that. A little tricky to do, especially on a real machine, but it's entirely possible. So I've got to hit that far right, uh, far left light. I'm getting dyslexic now. Not only can I not find the right terms. Ooh, jackpot opportunity, but no jackpot, unfortunately. And the ball just went through, and thankfully it gave it back to me. Sometimes if you hit a shot too late in the pinball arcade, it, it will glitch out, and the pinball arcade won't know what to do. But thankfully it, it found it. Now notice I flipped a little late there. So what I was trying to do is actually just bounce past the ball from the left flipper to right, but it actually hit the rail and not the flipper, and that's why the ball didn't bounce. And that's why I kind of waited and then flipped. Because I wasn't expecting to have to flip, I was expecting to just do a bounce pass. That's a bounce pass right there. And W, H, and no O, because I'm really terrible at hitting that, hitting that O shot. And that was really bad, I should have been able to save that, but it's not a big deal. I've basically shown off just about everything there is in this game. Uh, you do have the repair targets. Uh, they're just worth small points at first, and then when you collect the doctor and hit them a bunch of times, they can be worth more points. Those aren't things that I go for uh, specifically. Um, they, I just let the ball ricochet into it. Just like when the multi-ball wall is up, um, I won't go for it uh, specifically, generally. I will uh, just let the ball ricochet into it as I miss, say, the upper ramp, like that. If the multi-ball wall was up, it would have, uh, you know, it would have spotted uh, the multi-ball progression. So, here we go, WHO. WHO is worth good points. If you can combo this back-to-back, -back, 
it's worth great points, especially when we get Sonic Booms going. Oops, I didn't mean to drop that. Sonic Booms trigger uh, every 10 upper loops. And we're actually getting really close to another extra ball. So, see if we can get another WHO. Another video mode. So to qualify video mode, you have the escape targets on the bottom right hand portion of the playfield. And uh, once you spell out escape, you qualify video mode. And then you can shoot that left shot into the pops, which feeds the ball down to the right uh, into video mode. So. Sometimes you can backhand the ball into the escape targets. I'm looking for that extra ball, extra ball again. So let's go ahead and cradle up, and I wasn't able to. One of the things about the lightning flippers and the pinball arcade is the ball has a tendency of just, uh, just rolling right off them. Just bounce past like so. See if we can backhand it and then get ourselves uh, an extra ball. There we go. Got it. So I had intentionally lined up the extra ball to the left return lane. Because when you hit the right flipper, the extra ball goes right on the, uh, the lanes. When you hit the left flipper, the extra ball goes left. And so I basically lined it up to where I would backhand the right ramp. And then uh, the extra ball would line up with the, uh, the right return lane. And then I'd collect the extra ball. Really struggling with this upper ramp here, but it's a really important shot if you want those sonic booms. You've really got to watch the ball closely, though. Like, if you watch the ball closely, you'll notice that it is sort of slowing down sometimes. It's sort of catching on the back of the flipper. And that is kind of realistic, but it's not realistic for every single machine. So it actually does aggravate me that Farsight emulated that. Uh, flipper ball hop is one of the most annoying things on any pinball machine. And if you look at the upper flipper in particular, you can you can tell that the ball is getting caught on the back end of it. It's like, okay, cool, realistic under certain scenarios, but not realistic under all scenarios. And so they should have just emulated a nice smooth feed from the, uh, the upper flipper. I'm getting some decent feeds right now. All right, sonic booms are gonna happen now, so I have to hit that right ramp. You don't actually have to hit all the ramps, you can just hit the H, so there's 40 million. Can we get it? It's not gonna happen. Because I can't get control, because it's Farsight's engine. And I think Sonic Booms wore off. Now the tilt warning, oh that was bad. So, I basically alley pass it into the left uh, in lane, and it went up and over to the out lane. The far right out lane. And that can happen, that's the risky thing about alley passes. Alley passing is when you, you know, take a flipper, you shoot the ball into the other in lane. We might as well go ahead and lock another ball. And see if we can lock another ball. There we go, just like that. And we're gonna go straight for H. See if we can get some more ramps, and I failed. But the ball ricocheted into the uh, the wall up top, so... And again, and that's out. No death saving in this. Death saving is when you push the machine, sh machine so hard that the ball gets kicked right back into play. Um, very uh, dangerous to do. But not really possible in the pinball arcade from what I found. So, decent score overall, but lots of sloppy play, lots of missed shots, lots of fast drains. Um, but at least we recovered from the first couple of really bad early balls in the game. Now, what's cool about Doctor Who, like Bram Stoker's Dracula, it does actually keep track of your loops. So, not only is there a score, uh, Grand Champion slot, but there's also a Loop Champion slot as well, which is really neat. So, uh, yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else to explain on this game. There's not really a whole lot else to talk about. The biggest scoring opportunities are uh, multi-ball, particularly getting to Davros, and then doing uh, Sonic Booms, which is uh, 10 upper ramps. And then uh, you want to hit WHO. If you don't hit W, you can hit the H and then hit the O. Sonic Booms will end, but you'll end up getting, you'll collect two instead of three. So at least you'll get some points. 
Uh, Sonic Booms are worth, I guess, 10 million a piece, but since you can multiply your playfield up to four times, they're worth 40 million a piece. And so when you collect WHO, 40 million a piece, you get 120 million just instantly. It's super, really large points for not a whole lot of work. So uh, that's the tournament strategy for Doctor Who. But yeah, really fun game. Um, yeah, really fun game. Glad I was able to show that off. So, uh, but that's going to do it for me, guys. I'll try to get another pinball video here in the next uh, next couple of months. I know there was a couple of month uh, hiatus between my old pin or my previous pinball videos and these last two. Um, so I think I'm going to keep spacing them out like that. Uh, it's really helped me out in this situation because I'm kind of uh, rushing to get a Let's Play recorded and the pinball videos are always pretty easy to do. So they're good filler content while I work on practicing for other games for my normal you know, NES, Super Nintendo Genesis stuff, uh, you know, Let's Plays and whatnot. So, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, you know, again, I'll try to be back in a couple months with uh, another pinball gameplay video. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you're new to my channel, you like this type of stuff, you like Let's Plays and, expl and gameplay explanations and whatnot, uh, be sure to subscribe. I've got a lot of Let's Plays on here. Uh, you can sift through, and I've got a lot more on the way, so watch out for those. Thanks to everyone already subbed. I appreciate the continued support. Uh, if you like the video, please do give it a thumbs up. It helps my videos get discovered in YouTube's um, bloated search <laughs> system. Uh, but yeah, that helps me out a lot. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, so with that, until the next one, take it easy.